Hi everybody, my name's Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. So today, before I do the project, I want to show you just a couple things. One, if you see this fun box here, it weighs kind of a lot. Um, this is for all of you that are getting the summer retreat. So as soon as this one is filmed, I'm closing it up and they're all going to the post office. So I'm gonna show everybody, especially those that are getting the summer retreat, what's in your box. Um, and then for those of you, I've had lots of people recently ask me about my classes. So this would be if you got the full retreat um, and there's different versions of all of my online classes where you can get the full thing. With retreats, you can get partial because we do multiple stamp sets or you can just get the card supplies or you can just get the videos. So I do them different ways. Um, so this would be a full retreat. And when you do any of my full things, then you get a little bit of extra bonus because I like for you to do the full thing. That way I know you have what you're gonna need. Um, the only time that that is different is when I do my try it class, which we're gonna talk about that in a minute as well. Um, with the try it class, you don't need any stamps. You don't need any die cutting um, machine or anything. So because there's no stamps, there's just the, the card supplies or just the videos. So for this one, this person actually is getting the retreat. So if you're getting the retreat or if you're getting a catalog, because all the catalogs are going to mail out today too, I have a car full of stuff to take up to the post office. Um, so if you are getting your catalog or you're getting the retreat, then there's a couple of different ways it might come to you. So if you uh, have just placed an order with me in, since January, and even those of you that had ordered as late as last night, all of you are getting them, the catalog. So you may just have the catalog. If you ordered from me in June, then in your catalog um, thing will be your thank you gifts. And I'll show you the thank you gifts because they're in there. The same with the retreat. So if you um, have a catalog or you may have thank you gifts in with your retreat. So this lucky person has the whole shebang. So I chose these boxes and there were a few of these. Um, so I picked out one of these. So first you'll have the catalog. If you don't have somebody sending you a catalog and you want one, then let me know. I'd be happy to. So there is the mini catalog. And then this person got last month's um, thank you gifts for a $40 purchase. So they're in color jewels. So if you have those coming to you, they will be with your catalog or in your retreat box. And then this person also got the higher um, thank you gift, which, you know, when you start packing all this stuff, it kind of gets moved down in here. Okay. So here, here was the, I had to move this stuff around. This was the $40 gift. So if you spent $40 in June, you have these coming. Then if you spent 150, you have a bone folder coming. Um, and then if you spent, I think it was 250, the higher one, then you have this little charm. So when you get your charm, there's a little hole in your bone folder and you can just hook that through. So that was the high gift. So if you bought from me in June, you'll have these coming either in your retreat or in your, your catalog. And then also remember, if you purchase from me in June, you're part of my VIP video club. So there will be two video projects. So everybody this month got a thank you card made from the kit. I didn't sign it because it was, um, they were all, I just whipped them out super fast, but you'll be able to use it. So no, I thank you very much, um, but that's your thank you card. Then slipped inside here is the VIP video project for all of you that spent $50 or more in June. So you'll find it in here and be careful because your embellishments are in there. And then if you have the retreat, your ribbon may just be thrown in the box for that one. Then if you spent 250, you get both the, the supplies for both videos. And so your supplies for your second one are down in here. And then if you're doing the retreat or if you're interested in my retreats, here's how they come. And they're all a little different depending on how much stuff. So be very, very careful when you take your stack of supplies out because there's your 12 cards right there. So 12 super fun cards that we're doing and then don't rifle through them. I know it's hugely tempting or if you do rifle through, then make sure you put it all back because except for this, because I did those at the end, every time you pick up a card, like a big piece, everything you need for that project is on that card. So as long as you don't mess around with your stuff and every time you pick it up, then there's some more stuff that you need. So you can kind of see um, what they're gonna get. And this is just the card supplies. So for this one, there wasn't any designer series paper because the whole focus of this retreat was creating backgrounds. Um, so all of the backgrounds we created. So there's your, your thing. So you can look through it like that and then just put it back. So the pumpkin pie card is your last card if you're doing the retreat. So if you flip this over, this is your first. Then you all have your embellishment package. So even if you just did the card only, you have that and you have this. And then we start going up from there. So, oh, and everybody has a sponge. Um, 
So depending on, if you have a little packet, I may have cut that in half. The boxes had more room, so I have those. So all of your embellishments are in here. A, a couple of pieces for your turtles are in there. All your ribbon, all your embellishments for all 12 pro projects you can find in this. Then, if you did the full retreat with me, you got a spritzer and you have the three ink, ink refills that we'll be creating the backgrounds with. So that's in there. And then everybody got a straw to help create backgrounds. So everybody has a straw. And then of course you always get a little snack. <laughs> so here's your little snack. And then all of my um, classes, you get a button and they're all made with designer series paper. They're similar to what goes on your bone folder. So every time I know a lot of you stick them on your bags um, and you like to have the little charm that shows that you did a, or a pen that you did a class. Then you will have this retreat is, was what's cooking. So you have the dies for that. You have the layering diorama dies. You have after the storm. This ended up being my favorite of the sets. Um, and then you have the turtle. So if you did the choose two, you have your two sets. And then if you did the full retreat, you also have the masks that will help you create the background and the silicon pad that will help you create backgrounds. So if you're not getting the full retreat, then now you can kind of see what you have <clears throat> and what you might need to order. All of the um, colors that you needed were on the, the registration page when you placed your registration. So let me stick all this back in here so nothing happens to this fun little box. If you've never done a class or a, a class or retreat or anything with me, a try it one's a great one to start because it's a really, really basic, but it's tons of fun because you get to try all of the stuff. Um, and the other thing is, if you only do classes from me, then your make, name might not have pulled up on the catalog list unless um, I think that came out of her box. Whoever this is, you may have two of them. That may have been one of mine. Um, if you only do classes and you haven't pushed, placed an order from January, of course, I'm more than happy and I want to send you a catalog. It's just that I pull my addresses from the Stampin' Up! database because it comes nice and formatted for me. So just email me and let me know and I'll get one into mail on, to you on Monday. So for today's little tutorial, I didn't want to just have to watch the opening of the box, um, but I know lots of you have been asking questions. So this is kind of, this wouldn't be a try, it, a try it card because of the way I did it, but it will be featured, something similar will be featured in my try it class. So I'm going to use the um, cute Halloween paper. I love that the stuff in this is called cute because it has cute stars, it has cute paper, and it is cute. So you can see the paper. Look at those little cats. And I love the skeletons and the bats. They're just super cute. Um, so I'm gonna use this paper, but I don't want it to be Christmas because it's July and I'm not doing any Christmas in July card. Um, so I pulled out this piece of paper for this card and on the other one, I use the stripes and then I'll show you the difference at the end. But the nice thing about most of our holiday papers these days is they do one side that's more generic. So if you haven't used it all up by the end of whatever the, that holiday is, then you can just flip it over so if you don't want candy corns, candy corns are candy year round. Cause you know, we have Easter candy corns now. There's all kinds of Christmas candy corns. So you could color this if you wanted to be candy corns. You could make it easily Christmas. And then here's the other one that I use. This one is both that, neither one of that is a particular holiday. So I just took some of the Fresh Freesia cardstock. It's a super fast card. And I'll show you the difference. In a try it class, there's no stamping because each card is designed around the new papers. So there are 10, I think there's eight papers in the catalog and um, more than two in the celebration, but we'll be doing 10 projects. So the cup, a couple of the celebration papers will come into play and that's where you'll get your penguin because there is penguin paper in the celebration. So right now I'm just gonna use the penguin punch and I may use the penguin punch in the celebration. I just got done with retreat, so, um, as soon as I, I mean, not in celebration, in the try it class, as soon as I'm done getting this all out and I take a couple of days to um, focus on my, the girls, the dear girls in my team, then I will get going on the try it class. I do want to mention that if you are a member of my team, you get all of my online classes all the time for free. Um, but the try it class, I actually send them the, pro the product for so they can make it along and we get together via Zoom and we put them together. So if you're brand new, you're not forced to join us on Zoom. Um, cause I know some people aren't comfortable with it. So you get the first three without joining on zoom. And then after that, everybody who participates in the zoom class gets 
the class for free. So we have this little fun little penguin body in black, the fun little penguin inside in white, and it's cute little feet. And this is why I don't know that I'll use the, the punch in the try it because you'd have to draw on his face. And I, some, I know some of you, it just kills you <laughs> to have to draw anything. But the um, fun celebration paper already has the penguins printed on it. So we can have a cute penguin without having to do that. So we have this, you can see how simple that was. Pumpkin pie, white and black. And then he has his little eyes. I'm stamp those on. And I'm gonna do it before I mount it on because that way if you give him creepy eyes, you know, sometimes when you stamp or draw eyes, if they go kind of the wrong direction, you're like, yeah, that's creepy. <laughs> So don't glue it on till you're sure that you're okay and you don't have a little creeper penguin. So we got his eyes. Let's do his beak and pumpkin pie. This set is adorable. I guess I didn't show it to you. I'll show it to you in just a second. So do his little beak. Again, the beak doesn't tend to do creepy, <laughs> but it could. So I would suggest you glue this all on after you're done with that. So now I have this little strip that is four inches by two inches. And I'm going to put my words on here. So I love, here I'll show it to you. It's called Penguin Place. And it has, um, a, this is my favorite. I like you a lot. It's like a little except a lot. So it obviously has some Christmas. It has some winter, but it does have a happy birthday um, to the coolest friend ever. So, I mean, it's got some fun stuff. It's got a birthday present, the balloons. It also has the reindeer. I can't wait to put, use those on. And lots of fun little background pieces. So I am going to do the be cool, be chill. It says be cool, be chill, be merry. I don't want the be merry because like I said, I'm not doing Christmas in July yet. So I'm just going to lay this on my pad and ink it all up. And you can see the be merry is just not on my pad. You can use um, washi tape to mask it. You can mask it over on your card. This one's really easy to just line up. So now we have be cool, be chill. And I just got my card dirty. So I'm going to flip it over and do it again. I wipe my, wipe my hands off. I hate when you use white cardstock. It's because I just touched it. Now I see where I'm touching it. It's because I picked it up there. So we'll try take two. That's why God gave us two sides to paper, right? So now we have be cool, be chill, and I do not have some marks on there. And then there's a tiny little happy birthday. So let's add this down here in the corner. So with the try it class, this is one of the things I was kind of messing around with this is I like to do lots of different layouts and fun folds and you, you get a PDF book that will help walk you through those. But with this, I was kind of messing around with how I might lay this paper out. And then it's got a little balloon string right here. Do that in black. This card's gonna be super fast. And then the balloon itself, let's put this on here. And the colors in this paper are the um, Freesia, Flamingo, Pumpkin Pie, Olive, and Black. So that's how I went with my colors. I just took them from the paper. So we have a Flamingo balloon. And then one of the other things, I'm fairly certain that this is in the Halloween um, suite. I meant to look, but I forgot what I think it is. And this is our new Black gang Gingham ribbon that will be available starting when the new catalog starts at the beginning of August. In catalog kickoff day, I always have an extra special, which, and then the following month, I'm like kicking myself because it takes a lot of work to figure out which one of you got the extra special. Uh, but if you place an order the first or second day of a new catalog re release with me, then you always get an extra goodie on top of the month, the monthly thank you gifts as well. So put this on here. Just going to have a little bit of adhesive. Flip this over. Oops. So I'm just gonna have this little bit of black. The black and check is super cute with the penguin and with the Halloween. And now you can glue this on. And there's my mess up. I'm gonna put this up. My other one, I did it the other way and I did want to see what this looks like in case this is a layout. Oh, that's cute too though. Mmm. I could split it in half and then I have a little bit of each. I really like this because of the black and it kind of pulls the penguin in, 
but that's almost too cute. This is what happens when you have two fun sides of paper, hey. So this is a different layout than my other one in different paper. But a lot of times in the Try It class you get, um, there's different versions that everybody gets, so I show you both. Because there's only so much paper in a pack and I can't buy it um, 15 packs and use all the same sheet because I don't have too much paper left for the rest of the year. So we just get to see the different versions and yours may be a little bit different than somebody else's. Now to stick this on, you just stick this little body on. Super cute. And I can already tell that there's other fun creatures that you could make from this background piece. And then add his little feet. And I find the easiest thing, you can use glue if you want. I just stick these on here and kind of pull. And like it's just enough adhesive on there to hold those on. And there. And then because it's gonna go over the top of this ribbon a little bit, I am going to use some dimensionals. And that way I can put one below the ribbon and then one up above the ribbon. And that way he won't have a bend in his middle where he's going over the top of the ribbon. Okay, so now we've added him, super cute. And then I'm going to take the silver and clear epoxy. So here's the clear and here's the silver. So I want you to see the difference. I'm gonna use the silver and we're just gonna add um, little dots, which on this card really match because I went with the, the dot background. The other one has those stripes and the squigglies. So just add three of these. They come in the two different colors and then the two different shapes. And you could add some blends to them if you want them to be the color of the dots behind. I didn't do that because this wasn't the um, paper I used the first time. So there we have our little be cool, be chill, happy birthday penguin. And here it is in the other, the other papers. So both super cute. Shows off the Halloween paper and a Christmas stamp set in July. So you would never know. So everybody who's getting a package, um, it should be to you soon because they will be at the post office um, in just a bit. So everybody have a great day and I'll catch you back here next week. Bye.